What's going on guys, it's Rated here. Welcome back to the channel today. I have you guys a brand new video. It's actually on the secret developer map in the headquarters mode. Now, some of you guys are probably thinking there isn't a map in headquarters. What the hell are you on about? But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do it and take a look for yourself and also how to actually go ahead and slide in this game instead of dolphin diving. Hopefully you guys do go ahead and enjoy it. Of course, if you do enjoy the video, definitely leave a like down below. It's greatly appreciated. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. It's currently double XP weekend. I'm going to be trying to rank up and prestige again to prestige number seven. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Uh, and of course, leave your rank down in the comment section below. And what rank you're going to try and acquire by the end of this weekend. So let me know down in the comment section below. I'm going to be replying to a ton of you guys down in the comment section as well. So I will have a video showcasing how to actually get a ton of supply drops. Because I actually got a few more heroic weapons yesterday. Now that COD points are out, there's actually a way how you can populate the headquarters mode. And actually get yourself a few free supply drops in this game. So if you'd like to see that, definitely leave a like down below and tell me down in the comment section. But to start off with this glitch and actually how to get into the developer map, you guys are going to head over here to the score street train. And as you guys can see me right now, you want to go ahead and hold square and go inside of the headquarters and go into score street training. This is where the main glitch is going to take place. You already probably know if you've seen my other video of where I actually showed you a secret glitch on this map. It's actually how to get the grounds, which is the headquarters map, in a private match so you guys can actually go ahead and explore. They did unfortunately patch the method where you could spawn anywhere, but there is a bypass for that. And that's what I'm going to be doing in this video to show you guys how to get to that secret map. Now there's a secret map inside of the map. It sounds crazy, but once you guys see it, you guys will understand. It's actually the developer map where they practice all of the uh, testing for all of the kill streaks, the weapons, and much more. That is, of course, before the game is even developed, which is pretty cool. But starting off here, you guys are going to press start. You guys are being on the screen right now. You guys are then press the home button on PlayStation or Xbox. It works on Xbox too. You're going to be going over to the settings option here and going on network, and you're going to disconnect from your internet and then simply wait a few seconds and reconnect it as I'm doing right now uh, and once you've done that it will say connect to the service to go back on the game it will automatically connect you back if it doesn't then just connect your connection again you guys can also do this by simply disconnecting your ethernet cable if you guys are on xbox or even on wired connection so bear that in mind when doing this but once you are on this menu you're going to press x to join the fight you're then you're then going to press play online again and as you guys can see, you're now loading in. And like I did say earlier, double XP is now active till Monday. So definitely go ahead and rank up as much as you can. I will leave an XP guide at the end of this video if you guys want to rank up fast. If you'd like to see an updated method on that, definitely leave a comment down below as well. As I will be showing that in this video. So as you can see, once you're loaded into the headquarters mode, from here you're then, you're then going to press start. You're going to go over to the custom match right here. And you will notice the map is the grounds. Now like I did say, I had shown this on the channel before. But unfortunately, you can't get a score streak training in any map anymore due to the glitches that were in this game. They did patch it. Hopefully, there will be a bypass very soon as it was pretty cool to kind of explore out of all the other maps except from just the grounds. So from here, you guys are going to press on game mode. You're then going to go down to search and destroy it. And from here, you're going to go in game rules. You're going to set it all to unlimited as you can see right here. And once you've done that, you then want to go to general. And you want to go to spectating and put that on free and then put spectating POV on free as well. Now, before you had to put false respawn, but this time you don't have to. There's actually a different way. All you're going to need to do is set the live start unlimited instead. And once you have done that, you can then go ahead and start the game. So as you guys can see, I'm loading into the grounds, which is actually on search and destroy this time. Like I discussed before, they're actually probably going to add a winter mode of the grounds as well. And also different environments of it as well, which would be pretty cool. It would be nice to see like a Christmas tree in the middle of headquarters, along with it snowing and maybe some Christmas lights. They can actually work around with that as well. Now, as you guys can see, you spawn right on top of this truck right here and you don't you do not want to go that way, you want to go this way instead. If you go that way, you get stuck in a little barrier, but you guys can jump up there and then actually get out. But this way is the way that you guys want to go if you're going to go ahead and do this. Now, like I did discuss before, there's the zombies area down there. You can literally explore the whole of headquarters. But one thing I didn't mention is, as you guys can see, the 1v1 pit is completely empty. 
Now the reason they've done this is because this is actually the base map of the game. This isn't the live one with headquarters and everything in it. This is literally the base model of the map. So this means they're going to be reworking the 1v1 pit and changing it around sometime. As we know the, the podium's there and on the other side and you battle in the little area. But they're actually going to go ahead and change this. And they're going to make it so uh, you guys can actually play on different maps in the headquarters. Which is pretty cool. As you see the scoreboard is there. But like I say I'm going to be showcasing how to actually get to the secret map. And actually how to do the sliding glitch as well. So as you can see what you want to do now is press start. You want to go change team. You want to go to spectator. And from here you will notice you can move around. Now it's kind of weird how this still allows you to do it. But I'm going to be showcasing to you guys a few little easter eggs here as well. Now right now I'm going to be heading over to the secret developer map where they actually went ahead and tested all of the stuff within this game. So if you guys didn't know, when Black Ops 3 mod tools came out for zombies, the developer map was the exact same when you go ahead and actually create your own map. So this is literally the base model for a map. You guys can expand it sideways. Who knows, they might even allow us to add uh, custom maps in this game as well, which would be pretty cool. Imagine if they allowed us to actually go ahead and develop our own map in this game and then at the end of the month one map will be selected to be introduced into multiplayer that would be a very cool feature and hopefully they do go ahead and do this i really hope they add something like that because we definitely need more maps in this game because nine maps is not enough in this game um personally free free war maps is not enough either literally i find myself getting bored of war very easily As you guys can see, we're approaching the developer map right now. And yes, it's just a square. It is very weird. I guess it has like this weird texture to it, as you guys can see down there. It is like similar to when like you used to get those modded lobbies on Call of Duty 4, which is the basic texture file, because this is the basic texture file, this little checkerboard pattern. Remember back in the day, you used to go in glitched maps and actually find this as the map icon, which is pretty cool. But if you guys want to simply spawn on this, all you have to do is just simply select a team and bam, you're now on it. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and slide instead of dolphin diving, you are going to need a friend to go ahead and do this with you. And what you're going to do is have them kill themselves, and then you're going to pick up the weapon and you'll be able to slide. Now, it's a pretty cool thing, I guess, in this map. But if you guys notice at the top left of the mini map, this area on here is literally the size of headquarters. As you guys can see, I'm going to be running around. And if you pay closer attention to the top left, it's literally the edge of the headquarters mode where we can actually access right now. Which I guess they've kind of done this in a way. Who knows, it may even be part of the developing of this game. It may be something to do with headquarters and how they developed it. But literally, as I'm running around it, you guys will see on the minimap, this is the whole area of headquarters, which is kind of weird. I never really noticed that when I did this myself. I guess it's a cool feature in the game, but there isn't really nothing below here, as you guys can be seeing right now. I jump down, it's just a huge square box, and that's really it on this. Uh, I guess it's kind of cool to see this, like I did say. Nothing too special. Who knows, maybe they'll let us add our own maps in this game, but I'm going to keep on falling. And if you guys know this, then you truly know about glitches in Call of Duty 4. Back in the day when you used to be able to get out of the map and fall underneath the map. And your gun would disappear, as you guys are going to be seeing in a second. Pretty cool glitch, but nonetheless, I'm going to be showing you guys a few secret things here in a second too. So as you can see, I now have just a, a hand. No pistol. It looks pretty cool when you reload it, I guess. It's a cool little easter egg. Or like a glitch in this game. And when you're holding a shotgun, I guess it kind of looks weird. Considering now I'm only aiming down nothing. It's pretty weird. Especially on this map as well. When you look up, your gun, your hands and that go white. And then when you look down, they go black. So, I don't know. Maybe this is cool for YouTube thumbnails. If you want to get a thumbnail shot. And you don't want to cut it out. But as you can see, my character is kind of glitching right now. It's bouncing up and down on the screen. But now I'm going to spawn in and actually show you guys... Um, the secrets what i was on about and what planes are actually in the sky because i'm pretty sure some of you guys are curious of what planes are flying in the sky now there is some us planes and some uk planes which is pretty cool i guess i don't believe there's no france planes i'm not entirely sure but let me know down in the comment section below i'm not too into this war stuff but i guess uh, i just wanted to showcase it here in the video anyway Believe it or not, the, the planes are actually very detailed considering how high they actually are up. I didn't expect them to be this detailed in this game. As you can see, 
Three of them are coming past right now and they actually have propellers spinning which you cannot see from the ground. So I don't know why exactly they've detailed these so much, have them with so much detail. As you can see, they're literally perfect models. Maybe they've just ripped them straight out of the campaign files. Who knows, but I guess it's a cool feature in the game as well. Who knows? We never actually knew people would get up here and figure this stuff out, but I guess sledgehammers are always going to have glitches in their game and there's nothing they can really do about it. If you guys have noticed by now, this map actually looks like Operation Neptune from up above here. You can see uh, where it, where it's all sandy. It usually is just uh, whoa, what's just happened there? That's that's something I wasn't expecting. But as you can see, the sky is kind of glitched. It's upside down and then normal, and there's a huge blur in the middle of it. But that was weird when they all disappeared. Then I guess that's like I guess it don't render to that far of a distance. Uh, but that's pretty weird. I did not expect that to happen. That kind of took me by surprise right now Now I'm gonna be trying to land on one of these planes, but I don't think you can actually land on top of one of them I'm gonna try it when another another set of planes come past, but there's one up here I'll Try try and make it make my way up there. I Don't think I'm gonna make them ones Let me try it for you guys. I don't think nope too slow <laughs> I'll try it with one of these ones here, maybe go down a bit. Now I'm up pretty high. Let me try and spawn in. Try and land on it. No. I don't think you can actually land on the planes anyway, but I'm falling from the sky and I actually survived. <laughs> That's, I was expecting to just break my legs there. That was pretty weird. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, like I do, always say subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. There's a ton of glitches in this game right now and I guess it's kind of cool to explore in this game. And I'm stuck right here for some reason. I'm stuck on the floor. There we go. Yes, yeah, pretty cool to explore all these glitches and Easter eggs in this game so far. There's going to be another video up on my channel probably tomorrow or later on today if you guys really want to see it. It's going to be a way how you can get unlimited free supply drops in the game. Believe it or not, there is a way to get free supply drops and get a ton of them just for being AFK. It's an insane method and I definitely need to keep you guys updated of that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, like I do, always say check out my previous videos at the end of the screen. Hopefully you have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.